Good morning, Ivory City. This is your favorite news anchor, Brock Lee. Not to be confused with the edible variety. Reporting from the LEGO News Network at the top of Hotel Ivory. Christmas Day is just around the corner and the citizens are packing the stores in search of that perfect gift. Now, let's go to our newest intern, who, despite overwhelming demand, by the way, please stop sending emails about it, will not be replacing me. Cauliflower, how are things at the Ivory City Department Store? Um, hi. I'm Cauliflower, reporting from the Ivory City Department Store. Oh, oh, wait, you already said that. I'm a little nervous and scared of the camera, and, well, anything, really. Attention, shoppers. Bull skulls are now 99% off. <gasps> Please continue, Mr. Flower. Oh, no need to be so formal. You can just call me cauliflower. You know, like that white vegetable that everybody hates. I know what cauliflower is, you silly international awesome person, you. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want people to confuse your name with the actual vegetable. Oh no, that's fine. Cauliflower gets way more retweets than me. <clears throat> the story, please, Mr. Cauliflower. <gasps> Citizens of Ivory City are clamoring to get their hands on the season's hottest item. <laughs> what is the hottest item, you ask? Well, it's not that thing that goes back and forth or... Even the pretty Christmas flowers are, or not even that bouncy mushroom. It's donuts. Everyone is freaking out over donuts. They can't get enough. Agent Trace to Agent Chase. Come in, Agent. I'm a little concerned that everyone in Ivory City is freaking out over donuts. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Oh my gosh, these are like the best donuts in the whole world. They're so yummy. There's a donut in my hat. What are you talking about? Oh, there is a donut in my hat. Mmm, I'm gonna eat it and dip it in some coffee. Mmm. There's something very strange about this situation. It has villain written all over it. Why does everyone want these donuts so badly? I mean, haven't you seen all the commercials they're blasting the airways with? Go down to the Ivory City department store and get some frosty Ivory City donuts. They're the best donuts in Ivory City. You gotta do it. Go, go, go. You gotta do it. Go, go, go. That's the worst marketing ever. It doesn't even rhyme. And it's not even clever or catchy. Look, I think you're blowing this way out of proportion. Um, did something just literally blow up? Yeah. I posted a shirtless pic of me at the Jurassic Beach and it's blowing up. I'm getting so many likes. Oh, you mean literally. Well, sorta. Someone told Shania that donuts were out of stock and, well, she blew a hole in the side of the store with a megazooka. What? So are you at the department store? What are you doing there? And how did you get there so fast? Tell me you are not in line to buy donuts. Well, I already forgot 16 of those 15 questions, but I'm not in line to buy any silly donuts. I'm no sucker for marketing. Ice, ice, fresh ice right here. Lovingly hand-selected by local Eskimos for the low price of 1,000 studs per brick. I'll take them all. Uh, you got free shipping? Hey, 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 no cutsies. I've been in line since like 4 a.m. The line starts back there, you line-cutting donut-thieving jerk face. I thought you hated donuts, Agent Chase. You even called them scammy. What are you talking about? I've always loved donuts. I don't know why you like donuts so much, Mayor. They're super scammy. Think about it. You pay full price, but your dessert has a giant hole in the center. If you pay full price for those, I got a sandbox in Florida to sell ya. Apparently, demand has greatly outpaced supply. I have Mayor Classic Space Guy here to answer some questions. Mayor, one of your campaign promises was free donuts for everyone. Donuts are amazing and they should be free for everyone. I must correct you on one thing though. I never actually promised free donuts. Before we talk about why your voice sounds like that, we must address that campaign promise you ran on. Your entire message was free donuts for everyone. Let's take a look. Do you love cookies, donuts, and hot dogs? Of course you do. It's un not to. Vote Classic Space Guy. 
vote Classic Space Guy for free cookies, donuts, and hot dog stands. Oh yeah, and that annoying thing called gravity? He'll change that too. Paid for by the Anyone But Sheila campaign. As you can see, you not only promised free donuts, but you also promised to change the laws of physics. How'd that work out for you? No, no, no. It was make donuts free again. And I invented gravity. I could change it if I wanted to, but I actually kind of like it the way it is. But Mayor, you never made donuts free. How does that slogan make any sense? Fear. Distraction. Look over there. Ivory City first. Trust only me. Mayor, you're not very good at this, are you? You're in way over your head. This interview is over. I think you need a donut, vegetable boy. What? How dare you call me a donut, vegetable boy? I said you need a donut, comma, vegetable boy. Oh yeah, well, comma, how about you get off my show? Exclamation point. What do I think of the decorations? Well, of course I think they look amazing. You know I love pink as much as you do. What? Rhonda said they look tacky. What does she know? She wears socks with sandals. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. Hi, Rosie 2.0. You don't need to call me Rosie 2.0. Rosie will do. Rosie 2.0, you're kind of villainish, right? What do you know about these donuts everyone is freaking out about? All I know is there is some kind of big villain meeting tonight at Elle's house, but you didn't hear that from me. Hmm, interesting. Oh, by the way, the decorations look amazing, Sheila. Who cares if everyone in town thinks they are tacky, as long as you like them? Agent Chase to Agent Trace. My sources tell me, and by sources, I mean Rosie 2.0, that there's some kind of super villain meeting tonight at Elle's house in the clouds. Ah uh, yes, the Extraordinary Vile and Inhumane Council. And you are planning to go undercover and figure out what they're up to. Brilliant. Actually, I was going to say we should destroy Elle's house and sort out the details later. But your way sounds better. Less messy. Extraordinary Vile and Inhumane Council. E-V-I-C. Hmm. Why not E-V-I-L? No one could think of another word for council that starts with an L? They did try to change it to League, but the paperwork had already been filed and there's a fee. This meeting must have something to do with the donut craze. Have you been able to get a hold of one yet so we can examine it? Are you crazy? You don't examine delicious donuts, you eat them. If I do get a hold of one of them, the only examining that will happen is the donut examining the inside of my mouth before it slides helplessly down into the pit of my stomach. Gross. Listen to me, Agent. Do not eat one of those donuts. We don't know what they might do to us. Okay, fine. But when this is all over, I'm going to gorge myself on any donuts I can find. And then go to the gym, of course. I hear Max is teaching aerobics classes. Hey, Sheila. Wanna dress up like villains and crash the EVIC meeting tonight? That's exactly what I said. Should have been E-V-I-L. Okay, great. We just gotta figure out which villains did an RSVP, and we can go in their place. I'll head down to the super not-so-secret agent's base under Ivory City and hack into the EVIC mainframe computer. Just don't tell Rosie 2.0 about any of this. I'm not 110% sure we can trust her. These disguises are foolproof. No one is going to figure out that you're not dynamite, and I'm not the supreme alien commander. If I can just talk like him... Mm, I am the supreme commander. Bow, bow before me, you impudent fools. Hmm, this may not be that easy. Welcome, fellow villains and general do-batters, to the Extraordinary Vile and Inhumane Council, or EVIC for short. 
Um, I have a question. Why didn't we just name it the Extraordinary, Vile, and Inhumane League? That way, our acronym would be E-V-I-L. <sighs> because we already filed the paperwork. <clears throat> you have all been gathered here today to aid in our newest effort to take over and or destroy Ivory City. I will reveal the entire plan to you today, including all details, in the hopes that none of you may actually be here, disguised as a villain, just to gather intel. Uh, Mayday, Mayday, come in Agent Trace. They know. Our cover is blown. We gotta get out of here. Calm down, Agent. I have been listening to the whole thing. They have no idea that you are there. Remain calm. That's easy for you to say. You're not face to face with Brad the Bat Monster. Who's my little baby? Who's my little baby? Agent, just be quiet so I can hear what they're saying. Before I reveal the devastating extents of our extraordinary vile and inhumane plan, let's go around the room and introduce ourselves for those that are new. Tell us your name, what terrible evils you are best known for, and your most used emoji. I'll start. Hello, I'm Dr. Inferno. I am best known for my attempt to blow up Ivory City from the moon. Oh yeah, and I tried to make Mount Saibo erupt, and I would have succeeded if it weren't for the incompetent fools who I must employ. Most used emoji is the face with steam from nose. I guess that's not very surprising. Hello, I'm Giselle with a Y, but you may refer to me as Her Royal Exclamency, Queen of the Galaxy, and this is my pet rat chevalier. I'm best known for having the coolest house by far. And, um, my most used emoji is... Let me look at my messages. Oh, it's the sparkling heart. I don't know why. I hate things that sparkle. Enjoy. I hate that, too. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brad the Bat Monster. You may refer to me as Derek. I am best known for... Well, I wanted my teddy bear, Mr. Hugglesworth, back. My most used emoji is... The teddy bear. Hi, I'm Lindor, and this is Grog. We are also known as Dumb and Dumber, according to the Supreme Commander. We are not Lindor. You, however, are both dumb and dumber. No, I'm not Grog. How could I possibly be both dumb and dumber at the same time? It doesn't make any sense. Yet somehow you managed to do it. <clears throat> we are best known for trying to strip mine Ivory City for all its precious energy crystals. My most used emoji is the facepalm. And Lindor's is... The smiling face with heart eyes. Ha ha ha, we are the worst villains imaginable. Just try to come near our pincers. You are not villains. Someone get those crabs out of here. We will not forget this. And you there, who are you? You look oddly familiar. Uh... Th this is Dynamite. She had some work done on her face, so she can't talk, and she looks like a totally different person. <laughs> kind of like Sheila. <laughs> Plastic surgery is so unpredictable these days. Why did you gesture at me when you said that? I haven't had any plastic surgery. How dare you? <laughs> No, no, I, I didn't mean to suggest that you've actually had plastic surgery. You, you just have that RBF. RBF? What the heck is RBF? According to the urban Legotionary, RBF means resting brick face. Resting brick face? I was born without smiling muscles. I mean, let's be real. I wouldn't use them anyway. But still, who are you anyway? You look... Oddly familiar in a pseudo-hero sort of way. A lot like Agent Chase. Agent Chase? <laughs> where, where would you get an idea like that from? No, I am the Supreme Salamander, uh, Commander. I am best known for my glorious attempted takeover of Ivory City with my fellow brain-sucking aliens. My most used emoji is, uh, alien emoji. How original. Wait a minute. Are you sure you are the Supreme Commander? You look different. A lot less alien-y. You fools! Yep, that's the Supreme Commander, all right. 
Well, now that we all know each other, as you may have seen, there is an unquenchable taste for donuts in Ivory City. These donuts are actually portals to alternate realities. If consumed, not only will they bombard the taste buds with an explosion of incredible flavor, they will also trigger at some future time of our choosing transportation to an alternate reality. Every citizen in Ivory City will be whisked away, leaving the city empty and ready to be easily conquered. We've set up this portal that will activate the donuts with a touch of a button. We can send them to whatever reality we want. Observe. <clears throat> Agent Chase and Sheila? Agent Chase? <laughs> Who's that? I am the alien supreme salamander, uh, I mean, commander, and this is Dynamite. Mayday, Mayday, Agent Trace, come in. They know who we are. If you're not Agent Chase, then why did you just radio Agent Trace? Oh, you heard that? As I was saying, observe. Agent Chase and Sheila will be our first test subjects. You'll never get away with this. Oh, look, it's Mayor Classic Space. He'll stop you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Uh-oh. Goodbye, Agent Chase and Sheila. I hope you enjoy your alternate reality. Let's just say it's going to be a medieval experience. You'll never get away with this, Dr. Inferno. Your dumb portal is no match for my superior mental abilities. I can will this thing to stop with merely a thought. If only I could think straight. Aw, how cute. Was that your tummy growling, Agent Chase? Of course not. I have exceptionally powerful stomach muscles. But hey, you got any of those donuts left? <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of these obnoxiously good do-gooders through the portal. There's no room left in Ivory City for anyone who isn't terribly devious and diabolically evil. Who's my little baby, baby bear? Who's a baby, cuddly baby bear? Baby bear, baby bear, baby bear who loves Christmas. Arr, what about that one, eh? He don't be a villain. He sing into that there old teddy bear. If he be a villain, then this peg here be a real leg. And this here hook be a real... Um... Arr, blimey. I never noticed, but I guess my other hand is basically a hook as well. Brad the Bat Monster may be a bit, uh, sensitive, but I assure you, he is quite fiendish. I once saw him back up without even using his rearview mirror. Hey! Where'd you learn how to drive? Why is he even allowed to drive? All bats are blind! Actually, that's a common misconception. Bats can actually see, and at night they use something called echolocation. If you think you can get me to go through that portal, then your brain is about as useless as a screen door on a submarine. Oh my gosh, would you guys just stop whining and go through the portal? Look, I know you love Ivory City. I mean, I don't know why. It's full of happy people who are constantly being nice to each other and working together in joy and <coughs> harmony. Blech, ew, ew, ew. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But now Sheila is gone. It's going to be a much different place around here, trust me. You'll be much happier wherever it is you're going. Um, hey doc, where are they going once they enter the portal anyway? They're crossing to an alternate reality. They could either end up in a world full of candy, or they could be dropped into an infernal volcano and melt instantly in the 6,000 degree hot lava. Oh, ouch. Well, still, you'll like that place much better than living here in Giselletopia. Giselletopia? Forget it. This is our city now. We're going to call it Lindoropolis. Right, Grog? No, Lindor, we are not going to call it Lindoropolis, but I do think Grogberg has a nice ring to it. Arr, what be ye doing with me? Put me down! 
My circuits are not accustomed to being jostled in this manner. Ha oh, ha ha, we leave our city. We shall rule new crustacean city by the force of our extremely powerful pincers. Don't get too close or you might risk getting a small bruise that will heal in 24 hours or so. That reminds me, let's have a celebratory feast after all these fools and their pets are through the portal. Oui, we shall prepare some fish for the feast. Actually, I'm in the mood for crab legs dipped in butter. Someone boil some water. Quoi? How dare you! You have betrayed us! We will never forget this treachery! Sebastian, run! But I can only run sideways! We shall never forget this! Mmm, these are delish. Great idea, Doc. Have you tried the herb butter? It's like a symphony of flavors on your tongue. I'm so glad I joined EVIL. It's EVIC, Extraordinary Vile and Inhumane Council. <sighs> but why isn't it EVIL, Extraordinary Vile and Inhumane League? That would make so much more sense. <sighs> we already went through this in part one. The paperwork had already been filed and there's a fee to change it. Wow, thank goodness for my Galacto Stick hairspray. My hair hasn't moved a bit in this free fall. Space Chickens That dastardly devious Dr. Inferno actually pulled it off for once. I never would have thought in a million kajillion years that he would ever be able to succeed in making a portal that can send you into an alternate dimension of reality. This appears to be some kind of primitive medieval version of Ivory City. Either that or it's a city full of anti-vaxxers. Roast leg of turkey, get your roast leg of turkey, pay extra and I'll even remove the maggots. Toes of frogs, wool of bat, eye of newt, and blind worm, for a limited time only while supplies last. Harry Trotter, would you quit trying to go left? I am trying to go right. Hey Bella, did you ever hear the one about the horse with the negative attitude? He always said, Nay. Ah, oh, jeez, Harry. Not these jokes again. How much did the Bronco have? Only a buck. <laughs> no more, Harry. I'm trying to pull this carriage. Okay, okay. No more jokes. I'm starting to feel sick. I may need you to take me to the horse petal. <laughs> Pray thee, why art thou dressed like a jester? Art thou going to put on a show for Her Majesty the Queen? Pray thee, ah, you're speaking some kind of old medieval dialect, hmm. This should be super easy for someone of my extraordinarily strong linguistic skills. Uh, where beeth a placeth that I might, uh, obtaineth a peasant clothes like thee weareth? What a strange tongue he uttereth! Well, we are in need of a new village idiot. It'd be a shame what happened to our last one. Village idiot? Would a village idiot know how to fly one of these bad boys? Doc, 
Black Magic! Witch! He's a witch! Seize the witch! Black Magic! He is possessed witch. of a devil! Witch. Seize him! Witch. Seize the dark magic village idiot! Sorcerer! Everybody, slow your roll, calm down. I know that my flight abilities are insanely amazing and awe-inspiring, but I assure you, this is not magic, it's technology, a machine. It's made of metal and plastic. Demonic plastic, he says, unholy metal, he must be stopped. Look, you silly plebs are no match for my insane upper body strength. And what exactly do you plan on doing with that thing? No, you fools! We must take him before the Queen! Queen Sheila! Queen Sheila, you say? I know Sheila. And I'm 106% certain she would be the same in this reality as she is in my reality. Gods, gods! Who is this woman? And why does she resemble me? Off with her head! Queen Sheila, yar can't just be chopping off everyone's head. We're still dealing with all those headless gingerbread men. Besides, what if she be your long lost twin sister? Do ye really want to remove her head along with her mouth so she can't even tell you who she is? Hmm, you do make a fair point, Mr. Guard. Fine, remove her head and bring it to me so that I can ask it if it is indeed my long lost twin sister's head. Arr, well that's not really what I was thinking, exactly. Ugh, very well, I shall ask her now. Is this true? Art thou my long lost twin sister? Canst thou speak? Well, we may as well remove her head. She can't even speak. Gods, off with her head and take those hooks off too. I don't want her grabbing at my crown with her grubby claws. As you wish, your excellency. We shall take her to the not so secret agent base under the ivory tower and... The what? Er, I mean, we shall take her to the dungeons under the ivory castle and imprison all her remaining parts. After removing her head and hooks, of course. Er, don't worry, lass. It be me, One-Eyed Willy, from your universe. Agent Chase is looking for you. Let's get out of here. Uh, such a lovely day. I wonder whose head I can remove tomorrow. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Well, I guess it would have hurt if I could feel pain, but I might need a new ODN conduit. Oh, hey cauliflower. Uh, Rosie 2.0? Where are we? This looks like Jurassic World, but different somehow. But I can't quite figure out what is different. The dinosaurs have escaped! Run for your lives! Well, I guess that answers that question. We're in an alternate reality where dinosaurs have escaped from Jurassic World and now rule Ivory City. The, the, the dinosaurs rule Ivory City? B -b they're so big and, and they have so many teeth. Uh, Rosie 2.0, what do you think they eat? Don't worry, Cauliflower. Most of them are herbivores. They eat plants and vegetables. Vegetables? Uh, Rosie 2.0, can you please call me Rewolf Ilock from now on? Only if you stop calling me Rosie 2.0, please just call me Rosie. By the way, why do you want me to call you Rewolf Ilock anyway? Isn't it obvious? It's cauliflower spelled backwards. If you call me by my real name, the dinosaurs will confuse me with a vegetable, and then they will eat me. That's not how that works, and I know that it's cauliflower spelled backwards, that's not why I was asking. 
<laughs> Re-wolf eye lock. They can tell you aren't a vegetable. They won't try to eat you just because your name is Cauliflower. Oh yeah? Then why is that dino licking his lips behind you? He's basting me with olive oil and roasting me in the oven with his eyes! Um, that's not an herbivore. That's a carnivore. Run for your life, Rewolf Eyelock! <laughs> Oh yeah, but also check out my YouTube channel. I'm the keeper of clips of the best moments from Designer Slash Gamer. Also, please like the video if you're enjoying it, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Ah, run! Well, slap my head and call me silly. It's like Ivory City, but it's all catawampus. <sighs> I'm about as confused as a far in a fan factory. Shania, uh, where the heck are we, and how am I supposed to report the news from this place? Oh, bless your little heart. I'm sure Cauliflower can fill in for you back in, um, our Ivory City. He better not. That squeaky voice Viper has been trying to steal my job since day one. He even has a fan club. Oh my gosh, Cauliflower has like walked through this door before. Oh, I want to touch it. Wait just a maple syrup run in second. Isn't he just an intern? He's a sneaky, job-stealing little suck-up who loves to mock me for having a name that only slightly sounds like a vegetable. He's Cauliflower and you're a broccoli. I would think y'all could just get along. Since you're both basically vegetables, granted the worst possible kind, yuck. We have more important things to deal with, though. Like, how do we get back to our own reality? Hmm. I'm sure that little job-stealing snake cauliflower is already cleaning up my office and putting his apple juice boxes in my part of the employee fridge. <laughs> Remaining citizens of Ivory City, you must surrender! You have lost your city, and you have no hope unless you turn yourselves in and help us extract the valuable crystal resources from your planet. If you do not surrender yourselves, I will be forced to have your brains sucked out through your eye sockets. Wow, sounds like those early reports were right. They were going to suck our brains out through our eye sockets. <laughs> Just kidding. The mere fact that you believe that is proof that cows really are the most intelligent species on this planet. Your, quote, brains, if you could call them that, are of no use to us. And judging by the behavior of most other human beings, they're of no use to you either. Surrender or become spider food. <laughs> Come on, Shania. Let's get to what's left of the LNN Studios. Are you blind in one eye and can't see out the other? This place is crawling with aliens and spider aliens. Even if we can get there, what is the point in reporting the news? The city has been taken over and mostly destroyed. There's not even anyone to even watch the broadcast. Uh, no one even watches it anyway, at least not since they moved us to the same time slot as the Real Housewives of Bricksburg. You know, I don't want rumors out there about Robin. No, it's not cool. Mm -hmm. And here comes the oh, talker. Right. I can't stop talking, right? That's Miss, good. I can't stop talking? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was just trying to talk to Ashley. This is my house. I can stand wherever I want to stand. I can talk as much as I want. Don't be disrespectful in my home. I'm not. You are. You're being a little aggressive. I'm not being a and little aggressive. Not a good You're being very disrespectful. Was I talking to Ashley or was I standing there eating my food? Shouldn't we be instead trying to get back to our reality to stop the villains from taking over our Avra city? This one's going to hell in a handbasket. I'm not going to report the news, but we need to get the location of the not-so-secret agent base under Ivory City. The aliens might not know about it yet, and maybe we can use that fancy computer equipment to contact one of the agents in our Ivory City. Rosie 2.0 leaked the location to us in exchange for an upgrade. Hopefully my computer is still there. The location is on it. Let's get out of here. Okay, fine, but don't expect me to protect you from any aliens. I don't plan on getting my brain sucked out through my eye sockets. This place is a mess. Quickly, help me find my computer so we can get the location of the not-so-secret agent base. Wait a minute. So is the location a secret or not? You just said not-so-secret. Aha, found it. According to our source who revealed the secret location of the not-so-secret base, it's located here. Now wait just a corn roast in second. If the base wasn't secret, then why we risk our hides to come up here to find the location to something that wasn't even a secret? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? The location is a secret, but the base is called the not-so-secret base to throw everyone off. How are you not following this? You couldn't find your butt with both your hands in your back pockets, could you? None of this makes any sense at all, but let's get our hides to that not-so-secret base. Lindor, how did you crash our ship into a building? You are supposed to fly the ships around the buildings, not try to go through them. It's not my fault, Grog. The building came out of nowhere. The only thing that came out of nowhere was your license to fly a UFO. Uh, what now? Do I floor it? No, don't floor it. <laughs> Do I floor it? No, don't floor it. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Come in. This is Agent Trace from Ivory City. Um, the real Ivory City. Agent? Agent Chase? Are you there? Come in, Agent! Uh-oh. Sounds like the villain's plan actually worked. They've succeeded in taking over Ivory City and sending everyone into alternate dimensions. This is a real break glass moment. Ugh. Oops. Sorry about that. I was going to check to see if the door was unlocked, but it seemed faster to just break the glass. Giselle with a Y? What are you doing here? And how did you find the secret location of the not-so-secret agent base? I mean, you did just hear what you said, right? It's not exactly a secret. Every idiot knows the location of the not-so-secret agent base. I've got to get to the not-so-secret agent base. If only its location wasn't a secret. What do you want, Giselle with a Y? And why should I trust you? Just like your not-so-secret base, maybe I'm not such a villain. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I'm totally a villain. But I may be having second thoughts about this takeover of Ivory City. I 
kinda miss Sheila, and I miss all the good people of Ivory City. What you really mean is, there's no one left for you to boss around and make do all the boring stuff. What? No, no, no. I would never. Okay, fine. Yes, that's exactly what it is. But my motivation is besides the point. We both have the same goal, so let's... Um, let's work... Um, I, I can't seem to say it. Let's work together? Ew. Well... Since you are on your hands and knees begging me, fine. I'll work with you to save Ivory City. Except, well, there's a, just a teeny tiny problem with that. Ivory City is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? You know how villains are a little bit territorial and ruthless, but also powerful and relentlessly beautiful. Continue. Well, you see, we needed people to boss around and a place to control, so we kind of sort of destroyed Ivory City. But trust me, it was a total accident. Wow, there's like so much to do. The world is our toaster. I don't even know what I will do next. I am the undisputed ruler of Infernoburg. Bow to me, all of you people everywhere. We've made a huge mistake. Grog, look, we get an entire skating rink to ourselves. I love Lindoropolis. I think you meant to say Grogberg. How is it an accident to destroy an entire city? Whatever, we'll deal with that later. Get over to that terminal and try broadcasting a message. I'm hoping the citizens of Ivory City will go to the not-so-secret base in their alternate universes. If they do, we can contact them. Okay, fine. But I'm not very good with computers, or any kind of manual labor. My pet rat Chevalier usually checks my emails and schedules my appointments. Giselle, I have already told you I cannot schedule your appointment for facial waxing. That is an iPad, and my little paws cannot use the touchscreen. I don't want to hear your excuses, Chevalier. Get that appointment scheduled. If that little rodent mouth breathes a word about this to anyone, I will revoke your membership to your Cheese of the Month Club. No more 15-year age Gouda for you. Just get to work, Giselle. We need to make sure that all the citizens of Ivory City step onto the Transdimensional Relocating Automatic Platform. Transdim- <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Well, oh, <laughs> nothing. Except that you're asking them to step on the trap. T-R-A-P. Transdimensional Relocating Automatic Platform. <laughs> I'm never letting Agent Chase name anything ever again. <laughs> Flower, are you okay? I'm coming. Don't worry. Uh oh. Well, 
I'm coming after I can get control of my torso motors. Try not to panic, Collie. I'm sure whatever is down there has to be better than what's up here. Um... Hi, Mr. Tino. You definitely don't want to eat me. I wouldn't be delicious at all. I'll probably taste like dirty socks and acne medication. Kali? Kali Flower? Are you okay down there? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course I'm not okay down here. Would you be okay if there was a T-Rex chasing you? I'm coming down there, but keep going down that tunnel. I'll meet you in the not-so-secret agent base. It's safe there. Um, Rosie, can I ask a question? If it's secret, then why call it not-so-secret? And if it is a secret, then how can it be a secret safe place? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. If something's secret, then people can find it, but you can't find it. But if it's not secret, then they can't. Unless you want to become that dinosaur's next meal, I suggest you run. I hear he hasn't eaten in days, and he's particularly fond of vegetables, especially cauliflower. <laughs> Slime buckets. Where is that not so secret agent base? If I find it, I can use the sensors to locate Sheila. Oh, there's the access door. Stop! Who art thou? And why art thou lurking in my catacombs? Agent Chase, seize him and off with his head. Agent Chase, but that's my name. Wait a second, how did you know my name? Uh, your majesty. What art thou blathering on about, village idiot? This is Agent Chase, and he is here to remove your head. Agent Chase, do your worst. With pleasure, your majesty. What? That's not Agent Chase. There's no way I would sound like that in any alternate reality. I have an exceptionally deep voice, probably due to the huge amounts of testosterone coursing through my manly veins. Hi, Agent Chase. This is Dr. Hoagie Doozer. We just got your lab results back, and you have dangerously low levels of testosterone. We need to get you scheduled for some hormone replacement therapy, like ASAP. Like ASAP. Okay, bye. Stop! Stop! I command thee to stop at once! Gods! Gods! Oh, what are you all doing here? Awesome. I was the last one to find the not-so-secret agent base that I designed. <laughs> Arr, lad. Even I found it, and I have only got one eye in me head and half as many limbs as you. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Come in. This is Agent Trace from Ivory City. Um... The real Ivory City. I mean, technically, they're all real, so... <sighs> this is Agent Chase from the Ivory City that you are all from. If you can hear me, step onto the trans-dimensional relocating automatic platform and wait for us to activate it. Yeah, step onto the trap and wait. <laughs> Be quiet, Giselle. You are not helping. Just keep boosting the containment beam. Sorry, fine. I don't know why you're in such a bad mood anyway. It's not like your city has just been destroyed. Oh, wait. T-R-A-P. <laughs> I'm hilarious. My crazy awesome sense of humor is only exceeded by my insanely stellar good looks. Yay! 
<sighs> I know, right? So awesome that everyone's home. Yay. But I have good news. Uh, uh, I guess it's bad news. Yeah, right, bad. Ivory City is gone. Yeah, we kind of sort of destroyed it while you guys were gone, like, completely destroyed. There's nothing left. <laughs> Oopsie poo. Arr, Sheila, what do you think we should do? Where should we go? I... <clears throat> uh, yeah. We have tried to keep this city safe from villains over the years, but it looks like our luck has finally run out. And at the end of the day, Sheila is the true leader of Ivory City. So, what should we do, Sheila? Let me handle this. I speak, Sheila. Sheila says it's time to leave Ivory City behind and build a new Ivory City that will be even bigger and better than the first one. Uh, Sheila and Max, thank you for building Hotel Ivory and LN and Studios. Without you, I wouldn't even have a job. You don't have a job, Cauliflower. You are an intern. Keep it up and you can change R to were. Hey, you leave Cauliflower alone. He was so brave. He saved me from the dinosaurs. Uh, I did? Shh. Yes, he saved me from the dinosaurs, which is a lot more than I can say for you, Broccoli. Kali is brave and smart. Ha! Don't make me laugh. If he's smart, then I'm a one-eyed pirate. Uh, no offense, Willie. Hmm, that's cute. Do you want me to tell everyone about how smart you are, Broccoli? Half the time, you only got one oar in the water. I'm surprised we even made it here. Arr, Sheila. You built this here beautiful world for us, single-hookedly. Arr, yes, yes. Max helped a little. Har har har. I do be kidding, mate. You two have built this amazing world for us. You have worked so hard to give us a place to live and play. Arr, we've had some great times in Ivory City. We will be forever grateful to you, lass, and we will follow you anywhere, to the ends of the galaxy, even. Okay, it's time to go, everyone. We've activated the portal, and we have no idea where it will take us. Everyone ready? Hello, excuse me. You didn't think this was like the end end, did you? Cause it's not. We have plenty more adventures. We are actually just getting started. <laughs> Thank you.